mentioned the brand Uniqlo 10 years ago to anyone outside of Japan and you would get a confused look. Mention Uniqlo to any global citizen today and the associations of quality, affordability and fashion come to mind immediately. This is how successful Uniqlo has been in recent years. It has become yet another contender in the global fast fashion retail market. Despite having to compete with other big players like Zara, H&M, Gap and Forever 21, Uniqlo has still managed to grow at an astounding pace. How did it manage to capture a share of this competitive fast fashion retail market so quickly? Some of Uniqlo's key brand success factors include its unwavering commitment to innovation and its company culture. Its Japanese founder, Tadashi Yanai, is famous for his quote, Without a soul, a company is nothing. This soul is reflected in the 23 management principles that Tadashi has created and indoctrinated in each and every Uniqlo employee. The essence of these principles includes putting customers first, giving back to society and being self-disruptive. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit and today we'll be talking about Uniqlo and everything related to it. But first things first, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do consider doing it and don't forget to click the bell icon. In 1972, Tadashi Yanai inherited his father's chain of 22 men's tailoring stores, Agori Shoji in Ube Yamaguchi. Shortly after becoming company president in 1984, he opened a new store in Hiroshima, Unique Clothing Warehouse, which was later shortened to Uniqlo. His promotion is well documented as the catalyst for the company's rapid expansion. Inspired by his travels to Europe and the US, where he discovered large casual apparel chains like Benetton and Gap, Tadashi saw immense potential for Japan's casual wear market. He then set goals to evolve the family's business strategy. From suiting to casual clothing, buying fashion goods in bulk at low cost. Tadashi also discovered that many foreign fashion chains were vertically integrated, taking control of the entire business process from design to production to retail. By 1998, he had successfully opened more than 300 Uniqlo stores across Japan. However, one of the main challenges faced was consumer perception of the brand. It was perceived to be a discount retailer selling cheap and low-quality apparel to the suburbs. This perception completely changed when the brand launched the Global Quality Declaration in 2004, a pledge to stop making low-priced, low-quality garments. Since then, people started noticing Uniqlo for its high-quality fleece jackets. The brand perception instantly shifted from being cheap and low-quality to being affordable but high quality. Today, Uniqlo is a wholly owned subsidiary of Fast Retailing Company Limited, and it is known for providing high quality, private label casual wear at low prices. It is the biggest apparel chain in Asia, with over 800 retail stores in Japan alone. Fast Retailing's market capitalization is over $49.2 billion and it employs more than 56,000 people globally. For the year ending 2020, Fast Retailing had revenues of $22 billion and a profit of $2.5 billion. The company's home market, Japan, contributed 38% to its total revenue, with one in four Japanese said to own a unique low-down jacket. Fast retailing has been growing at an incredible rate in the past five years. Its confidence is reflected in its revenue forecast of 9.5% growth for fiscal year 2021. According to global management magazine Forbes, 
Uniqlo has a brand value of $9.2 billion and is 84th on the list of the world's most valuable brands. Much of it is credited to its founder's strategy of innovation and its very customer-centric culture. Uniqlo aims to be the world's largest mass clothing retailer based largely on expansion in US, China and online. It is slowly catching up with global fashion giant H&M's market share. If Uniqlo achieves this ambitious target, it will dethrone Inditex, Zara's parent company, as the leader in global apparel. Now coming to the brand strategy. Uniqlo's brand message encapsulates a clear vision. Uniqlo is a modern Japanese company that inspires the world to dress casual. The corporate strategy that has worked for Uniqlo so far is to totally ignore fashion, instead of chasing fast fashion trends like its other competitors. The brand philosophy, made for all, positions its clothing to transcend age, gender, ethnicity and all other ways to define people. Contrary to its name Uniqlo, its clothes are simple, essential yet universal, enabling the wearers to blend them with their individualistic style. This design-driven clothing brand offers unique functional performance, owing to in-house fabric and design innovation. The company distinguishes itself from its price-driven competitors by branding its signature innovations with names like Heat Tech, Lifewear and Airism. Uniqlo provides a superlative physical shopping experience by impeccably managing its stores. The brand inculcates a positive employee culture through in-store technology like video tutorials that describe product attributes. Similar to many global brands, Uniqlo also uses celebrity endorsements to extend the brand's image and connect with the masses. For Uniqlo, the most important attributes it looks for in its brand ambassadors are great resilience and strong character to overcome adversity. Uniqlo currently has six global ambassadors. Japanese international snowboarder Ayumu Hirano. Swiss professional tennis champion Roger Federer. Japanese global tennis medalist Kei Nishikori. Japanese international wheelchair tennis champion Shingo Kuneda. Scottish international wheelchair tennis champion Gordon Reid. Australian world-class pro golfer Adam Scott. The Uniqlo Global Ambassador Partnership typically lasts for five years. The aim is to have the ambassador promote the brand and its clothing worldwide, as well as collaborating on future product lines and co-developing functional wear. Uniqlo comes in third in global ranking of fast fashion retailers, with sales of $22 billion just behind Spain's Zara and Sweden's H&M. Nonetheless, Uniqlo's quick growth in recent years has seen it overtaking America's Gap, who has been long dominant in basic wear. Looking ahead, there is indeed a lot that Uniqlo needs to do to meet its ambitious goal of being the world's largest fast fashion retailer. But it is, without a doubt, on track to challenge the global players in the fashion retail industry. The Uniqlo brand was set up to be all about the Japanese philosophy of simplicity and essentiality. And this is reflected throughout the brand's marketing, communications and operations. It is indeed impressive how Uniqlo has managed to transform from a single inherited men's tailoring shop from Tokyo into a global casual wear giant and one of the most impressive brands from Japan and Asia today. Under Tadashi's effective and visionary leadership, Uniqlo's parent company, Fast Retailing, targets to become the world's largest fast fashion retailer. One of the secrets behind Uniqlo's success is its strong delivery system, supporting a clear brand promise and its relentless commitment to innovation. 
the brand promises to provide high quality, performance enhanced universal basic casual wear at affordable prices. And it aims to do that by running an efficient supply chain to produce its apparel. Through all that, the brand has created an environment where it continually exceeds customers' expectations. Building and sustaining a brand that is relevant and one that resonates with the customer base is one of the most difficult aspects of building a strong brand today. Uniqlo, with its presence in diverse markets, has managed to hold up well to this challenge of building a relevant and resonant brand personality. There are indeed many opportunities that Uniqlo can leverage in order to reach its goal of becoming the largest global apparel retailer. In particular, the company plans to focus on growing Uniqlo internationally and expanding online sales. With Uniqlo's impressive company culture, bold and daring leadership, and consistent financial growth, it is no doubt that the Japanese fast fashion retail brand is on the right path to global success. Winter has set in wear a map, so I'm off to get myself a Uniqlo jacket. But before that, I sure hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Do show your support by subscribing to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.